Hey guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a makeup declutter. I love doing these, honestly. So today we are doing part one of my makeup collection declutter, which is going to be eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to start off with eyeshadow palettes starting off strong because I feel like everyone loves those the most. And I'll have a part two as well of like other stuff in my collection. I also have an empties as well as a little bit of the throwing away makeup coming up soon. But today's eyeshadow palette declutter is here. And we, I do this every three months, so don't expect me to get rid of everything in my collection. I declutter every three months to keep my collection down to what I'm actually using and make sure things aren't going to waste. Anything that I purchased will, and I want to sell will to make a little bit of money back because, you know, hard times. <laughs> I'm going to list on my Depop. You guys can check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I understand this uh, camera angle might suck, and I apologize, but I don't know what to do with these, like, low, low things. Um, so this is, like, my go-to new stuff that I've been messing with, as well as, like, things I've been using a lot. So a lot of this stuff is newer, so we'll see what we declutter out of here. But um, to be honest, I'm pretty excited about, like, clearing out a little bit of space in the other drawers. This one I'm not really too worried about. And this is Azri. Okay, so first on top here that doesn't really fit since I have a lot of stuff in here right now is the Glam Light Chocolate Donut Palette. I love this and it's new, so I'm gonna keep this. If you saw my ranking my 10 newest palettes video, you know this was like my top one. So I'm gonna hold on to this for sure. And this top few here is like ones that I've been using a lot as well as a new one. So I'm gonna keep Naked Honey, which is like the yellowy kind of goldy one. I don't know if it necessarily needs to be in this drawer. We'll worry about what like me reorganizing later 420 from melt i'm gonna keep and it disappoints me i love 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 rust which is my favorites for 2020 video it was one of my favorite things this is so good warm neutrals from sigma i've also been using a good deal too lately so i'm gonna keep these little neutrally moments in the front i'm also gonna keep i'm probably gonna keep a lot of these in this drawer because they're the new stuff but eternal eclipse from lunar beauty looks like this and then this is my Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. I depotted and put into this little palette so I could fit my Alex Jones. The other thing was just too tall and like I couldn't close. So I bought this little Alwan palette from Amazon. It was actually a pretty good price. I'll leave a link down below for you. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Uh, this little Lawless palette I'm going to keep as well. It's really cute, but I do feel like I'm going to forget to use it after a while since it's not going to be new to me forever. Um, but we're going to keep for now because she's really cute we have a bunch of this whole thing is like little color pop palettes so um from under the mistletoe palette from lorella i'm gonna keep for now because i'm not crazy about the christmas theme i just got the mandalorian palette from color pop i will declutter the hello kitty one just because i feel like i'm not gonna get any more use out of it i really got it for review purposes and then i'm i'm, not, I'm probably not gonna use it anymore so i'll declutter the little hello kitty one i'm gonna keep big poppy for Mm, maybe pile because it is all matte after all. Maybe pile for Big Poppy. I'm going to keep wine and only. These are hard to open, but I really like the red colors in this. So I'm going to keep these three. We have a maybe and we got rid of one. I'm going to obviously keep my growing my going coconuts palette, even though like the pieces are moving around in here. I love this. There's a lot of neutrals in this front palette. I'm definitely going to keep that taupe. I will declutter ornate because I'd really love the reds and the yellows and the one yellow shade, but I have a ton of these shades already, so I'm going to declutter this one. Also, I kind of want the gray one from that collection. There was like three, and I was waiting for the grayish one to go to Ulta, and it is in there now. It's like the grandiose one or something. I'm still thinking about getting that one. A little grayish sunshine. I'm going to put in the maybe pile because it is all matte, but I do love the little yellowy mustardy shades, but I have those in other palettes. So put this maybe pile, but I do really love it. I think it's cute, but like I want to, I want at least one shimmer. And the Costa Coral, I'm going to go ahead and declutter because it's just, it's okay. Okay, so back here, I'm definitely keeping the Killer Purr palette from Menagerie. I wanted this for so, so, so long and I have it now. I, I'm not getting rid of that. This new Lethal Dark, or After Dark, I think it's the After Dark palette from Lethal. I'm totally keeping. I really love these kind of grungier shades in here. And I want to get a little more pops of color out of that palette, like use them. I have yet to use this. Um, I got a subscription box as the Poppy Cosmetics Neon Drip palette. I want to try it. So I'm going to keep it for now. But like I probably won't get much use out of the pinks and purples out of here. So it's really going to be the oranges and the greens that I 
use. So we'll put this in the baby pile and see. I don't declutter a lot of things. I will get rid of this one. So we'll put it in the baby pile with the other two palettes in there right now. I'm going to keep my Jeffree Star palettes because I have them all. Um, the Blood Money green one was his best palette of the year. Back here I have Cremated as well as Jawbreaker which I never use these two anymore. I really like the gray tones in Cremated. I think it's really pretty and I want to do more grungy looks. So maybe I should put this one forward with the green one. Will that close? No. Okay. I'll figure out something later with organization, but I like Cremated, but I don't feel like it wears well. You know, throughout the day, the grays kind of, the grays get, but, um, yeah, so the only last things we have in this drawer are some little Natasha Denona babies. A green one, a neutrally one with a little pop of blue, a little pink one with a little bit of green in it, and then I have this little mini palette from Juno & Co. too, which I used for my eyebrows for a long time with orange eyebrows, so I'm going to keep this for travel reasons. If I have orange hair, I need to use this for my brows, so I'm going to keep all these little baby ones. I like little baby palettes. I don't really use the Natasha ones. But if I need to travel, that's the easiest thing, and I'll take up from my bag. Not that we travel anymore these days, you guys. I wish we did. <laughs> okay, so in this drawer, um, we have this drawer, and we also have this one. This one, I know for sure I need to take some stuff out of because I can feel it when I pull it. It is too heavy. Um, so, <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Um, I don't know where to start, honestly. Let's start with this row right here. So these are my three mini Jeffree palettes I'm gonna keep. Mini Breaker, never use it. Mini Controversy, <laughs> I never use it either. And then the Mini Orgy is absolute garbage, but I got a refund for it. So, I mean, they're good for references. For A lot of people have these palettes, so they're good for video references and stuff. The Lethal Cosmetics, this one's the After Dark one. The other one's different. I'm gonna declutter this one just because I don't really use it. I did use this actually for my worst of 2020 makeup look, I think. I think I used the silver and the white shades in this palette for that look. Um, but other than that, though, I really haven't reached for it lately. I like the new grungier one better, so I'm going to declutter this one. This other Lethal Cosmetics palette, I really love the tones up. I think it's beautiful, so I'm going to keep this one. I need to get more use out of it, so I think I'm going to put it in the other drawer we just opened, which is my new stuff. Just so I force myself to use it more, because I really need to. And I use more colors instead of just neutrals, which I've been doing a lot lately, just because I've been stressed. The Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette, I'm totally keeping this, is absolutely stunning. Stunning! You know I'm in love with the Tartlet and Bloom. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> I love this thing to death. Uh, the Kendall Palette, someone gifted me. I'm going to keep this. It's from Kylie. It's my only Kylie palette, actually. And it's quite nice quality. It's quite nice. I really like the light shimmers in here. The Essentials Palette from Stephanie Lang and Sigma. I really like the gray purples as well as this pink and the neutrals in here, but I wish all the pans were the same size. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile just because I'm not sure, but it is good to have for references, but I don't feel like a ton of people have it. So I don't know. I have neutrals, but I don't, I don't know how many of these gray purples I have. We'll see. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now. So far I've decluttered four palettes and there's four palettes in the maybe pile. <laughs> the Untamed palette from Sigma, I'm totally keeping. I love the grungy tones in here. I know I have these shades in other palettes. For 100% sure I do. These green and yellows kind of remind me of the Killer Purr palette I just opened up, but I love it. It's the newer, it's like, no, it's the second newest color, or Sigma palette. The Sandstone palette from Colourpop, I'm going to go ahead and declutter just because I do really love the color scheme, um, but I'm scared I'm going to get in trouble for using it because of the controversial packaging, so I'm going to declutter this. All right, let's get to this front stack. We'll just continue on. I had a little container here to separate them, but let's just go ahead and keep going this way. So I'm probably not going to declutter my melt palettes because I think they're so beautiful. And there's the Gemini. So beautiful. And then the smoke sessions I have issues with using, but I do love this like minty green shade in here and like the yellow gold. So I'm going to hold on to this. And I'm of course never ever in a million years going to be decluttering my Elder Scissor Hands palette from Sugar Pill. I love Elder Scissor Hands. So <laughs> I'm keeping that forever. It was like my first high end eyeshadow palette and I don't care how old it gets. I'm gonna keep it. I know I'm opening these backwards, but I guess it doesn't matter. So the extra spicy gingerbread palette I'm gonna keep because I haven't gotten enough use out of it yet, but I really love the color scheme. I just need to use more orangey tones. So I'm gonna keep this for now. The Unchanted palette from Sigma, I'm going to declutter. It's beautiful, 
but I don't find myself reaching for these kind of shades and there's a lot of shimmers in here so I'm gonna declutter Enchanted. I'm gonna keep Quarter Rosa. It was a fantastic palette that came out last year. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna keep Quarter Rosa and I'm gonna put these two Sigma palettes beside each other. Worry about organization later, Bridget. I just wanna fix everything. I'm gonna keep my Gwen Stefani palette <laughs> because I have uh, this ridiculous thing for Gwen Stefani and I don't care if I don't use it anymore because I did use it the death when I first got it. I'm keeping it forever. Same with the Edward oh, Hands palette. Those two palettes aren't going anywhere. Virgin Mojito palette from Kim Chi. I'm gonna declutter. I know I just got it and I just reviewed it and it's beautiful, but I haven't used this since I review and I have so many other greens and yellow shades that I don't find myself gonna, I'm probably gonna reach for this a lot. So I'm gonna declutter it. I thought I was gonna love it more than I do. It's fine, it works well. I did a really cute look, but I mean, I don't know. I have, ton, I have tons of greens. I just opened up like the Juicy Olive palette and everything, I have tons of greens. This little Laura Mercier palette that I got during holiday season, I'm gonna declutter because I thought I would lo love like the super, super light shimmery shades. I mean, yeah, the super, super light shimmery shades. But when I thought I was getting, I thought this was a matte. It is not, this is the only matte in the palette. So I'm gonna declutter it just because it's not exactly what I expected, but it's cute. And the packaging just was sucking me in it. Like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love it so much, it's so cute. But I just wish I had another matte. I don't need just light pink matte. I just need something more for my crease just because my hood is so hooded. I'm going to declutter this little Lovecraft Beauty palette. I haven't used it. I really meant to, I got in a subscription box. I don't even know if I'm in focus anymore. I got it in a subscription box, but I have not used it, so I don't clearly need it. If anything has been out of focus, I apologize. This little uh, Shayna B Miami palette was really cute. I love the kind of see-through shimmer shades, but again, I used it once. I got a subscription box. I haven't used it, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. Okay, we're making progress now, you guys. Progress. Okay, so... I'm going to keep my little Kaja stack because I just got it and I want to get more use out of it. I want to do like an Instagram look with this kind of pinky purpley moment. What is my camera even doing? Okay, let's go. We'll go to this back stack and then we'll go to these. So I'm going to keep my Ultra Ego palettes. Goddess is my favorite. You can use code porcelain if you want to save money off Ultra Ego. This is going nowhere. I might even put this in my go-to palette drawer again. I moved it out of my go-to palette drawer because I was using it too much. The Sahara palette, so beautiful. Natasha Denona dupes at an affordable price. I love it. Aurora, I'm going to, ooh. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I haven't really been using the reds in here and I've really been keeping it for the yellows and like the pastel-y kind of shimmery shades here. But I have a ton of them. Maybe pile. But the yellows in here are so good. For the price, these things are amazing. And I'm going to keep Daydream because I feel like it's a really good reference for the dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. So, reference palette for sure. And I have these kind of gray purples, which I was put another palette in my maybe pile for these. Oh, the uh, Sigma Jessica Lang. Jessica Lang, not Jessica Lang. Stephanie Lang. Because <laughs> they had a gray purpley shade in it. I don't know. We're going to keep this one. I don't like the concealer shade in here just because I think it's weird to have a cream in there, but the, pa the palette is. You know, a great, I don't know, it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. All right. So next I have an Odin's Eye palette right here I'm going to keep. I repressed it and I haven't used it since I repressed it because it came broken. So maybe I should do a video testing out the quality of Odin's Eye stuff because I also have a face palette I haven't used since I repressed it. I'm going to keep the Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop just because um, it's a, you know what? I was going to say I'm going to keep it because it's a classic. It has that kind of gray pink tone I like in it. I am actually going to declutter this one. I never thought I'd get rid of it, um, but I, I don't use it anymore. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. Shocking because I like, this was like one of my favorite palettes last year, but I'm going to declutter it. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> um, also shockingly, I'm going to declutter the Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. I just, I had trouble using the dark green shade in here and I haven't touched it since I reviewed it. I used it once. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this actually. If this was like a more realistic art style up here, I think I would have kept it forever. I don't really like the cartoony thing though, so I'm sorry, but it's gonna go. And next I have like three ColourPop palettes here. We're never getting rid of the Yes Please palette because it's my favorite palette that I own. So we're never getting rid of this one. Flutterby I'm not getting rid of either. It has those gray tones that I like, the gray purple -ies. 
um, because I don't like purple, purple shades, but this has like the most cool tone to it. So I'm going to keep these because I need it, which means I don't need that stuff in your link palette. And then I'm going to declutter the at forest site because I just don't like it. I'm sorry. If you guys like it, that's cool. I'm glad it worked for you. You didn't waste money on it, but I did. <laughs> I did. Well, I made a video, so I guess it wasn't a waste. Okay, back in this back stack now, I'm going to pull some down to talk about because there's a lot up here. So Vintage Rose from Give Me Go, I'm going to keep. It's absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely. Love the pigmentation on their quality. Like, their quality is just so good, just like the Juicy Olive palette. Moon Spell. I'm not going to be decluttering any Lunar Beauty stuff because I love them. Greek Goddess. I don't find myself reaching for this ever anymore. I had to force myself to use it when I first bought it. But I love the quality, so I'm going to keep it because I want to have all the Lunar Beauty palettes. <laughs> the Deep Sea Luster from Kaleidos is not made anymore. It has the most fantastic formula you could ever imagine in an eyeshadow. But they don't make it anymore because you can't get the pigment or the pearl that was used. So I'm not getting rid of this because I can't get it again. And honestly, I've never had a shimmer that good in my life. It was a great way to start off their uh, brand. So this is the Enduring Love palette from Sydney Rose. I love the quality. I hate that the packaging is like this. It's super gross. No wonder they redid the packaging because honestly... This shadow got on metal and you can't scrape it off. You scrape the metal and it still doesn't get clean. So I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. But I do love the quality of this palette. So I'm going to keep it. I love the cool tones too. This is the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. If you ignore these four shades right here. Which are just singles. Anastasia. Uh, Sugar Pill Ice Angel from my Wear Sister Hands palette. I have a duplicate of. And then a ColourPop single. And then the rest of this is the Bare Necessities palette. I don't really use for this anymore. But I'm scared to like sell a color pop palette in single pans it's gonna break in shipping so i'm just gonna keep it just gonna keep it also it's another palette i bought from amazon okay last three palettes in this drawer we have the artemis from alter ego which i'm 1000 percent keeping because it is a do it for the metropolis palette from natasha denona it's great quality it's great quality strawberry dream from lunar beauty I'm going to keep because I need the Lunar Beauty palettes, but I haven't really been reaching for this one. I used it a couple times when I first got it, and it was lovely, and this is really pretty. I don't know. I just don't really use your pinks that much, but I had to have it, okay? So thank you. Um, and then this is Thirsty from Jeffree Star, so I'm going to keep these. All right, guys. So this is the last drawer of palettes. Um, so we'll see what happens with these. These are kind of the bigger ones or, like, things that just didn't fit in other drawers because this thing was full. <laughs> But firstly, we have a Catrice palette. This is Insta Bay. Um, I believe I got it from Ulta, but I had to repress this shade right here, this green one, and I never reached for it because it got all gross from me repressing it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because I never used it once. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't need it. But I haven't tried Catrice eyeshadows. The Glam Light Cake palette, I'm going to keep 1000% as the best like rainbow palette to have for references. So I'm 1000% keeping her because she's beautiful. Um, the Fade Into Hue palette from ColourPop, I reviewed it and I haven't touched it since. Um, so I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I do want to get, like, I really like this pink shade. There's a couple shades in here I don't think I have exact shades of. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile, but I know I don't need it, honestly. The Alien palette from Jeffree Star, I'm never decluttering it. I love the quality of this. I don't care what he says about him. You know, we know he's not a perfect person. Um, but this eyeshadow palette is absolutely perfect. I do not like the packaging. Because it's too bulky, it's just like loosey goosey, it's bulky, and these eyes pop out so you can't lay anything flat against it. But the quality of these eyeshadows is absolutely fantastic, and I want to use this more, so I'm gonna put this on the top when I'm done with this drawer. The Glam Light Ice Cream Palette, I bought to review. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Ah, uh, but I don't see myself reaching for this much, so I'm gonna declutter it actually. I think I used it to review, and I haven't used it since. Let me compare the colors to the cake palette real quick while I have them both open. Yeah, I think anything I really wanted out of here other than like the icy shades. Oh, that birthday green is too cute. We don't really have greens in here. I love that green. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to declutter it, okay? I'm going to keep cake. Um... I guess cake just seems like if I wanted these lighter colors, I could go lighter handed into it. Why do I just want this one green shade? Okay, I'm going to declutter it. Make room. Make room. I hate myself already for doing that. <laughs> okay, 
Um, the little Sigma Rendezvous palette that I finally learned how to pronounce. I'm going to declutter just because I don't... I, mean, I have the warm neutrals now and they're very similar shades. This Natasha Denona one from a Boxy Charm, I'm going to declutter as well. Just because I don't really use it. I have the other Natasha Denona minis that we looked in the first drawer and they were fine. So I'll just use those. The Jeffree Star ooh, Urgy palette. And then this one is Blood Lust, I believe. Purple. I keep the Jeffree palettes for references and stuff and for reviews. Well, that I've used. Um, some little Kaleidos mini ones. This one's super, super pretty, so I'm going to keep this one. It is the Sashimi City one. I'm going to declutter the purple one just because I'm not really using it, but I think it's really cute. This one is Lunar Lavender. You know, when you place an order with a Kaleidos, though, it does take a really long time to get to you, so be wary of that if you do order from them. I'm going to... This was my last year's uh, New Year's Eve look, actually, was this palette. But I have so many silvers now. I didn't really have that many silvers at the time. So I'm going to declutter this one as well. I'm going to keep Astro Pink because it was my favorite out of the original ones. And I'm totally keeping Sci-Fi Green. I had to get a replacement of this one because my first one broke. But I'm going to keep these three Kaleidos palettes. They're so, so pretty. Okay. This was actually my New Year's look this year was this uh, Mothership V, I think. It's Mothership V palette from, yeah, Mothership V. I don't know what number that is in real life palette from Pat McGrath. It's so beautiful. Very expensive though. Um, the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, I'm going to go ahead and declutter because it was on the chopping block last time and I still haven't used it again since then. So we're going to declutter her. I feel bad about it, but I don't use it. So the Christmas Morning palette from Give Me Glow, 100% keeping. It is absolutely amazing. These shimmers in the Give Me Glow was fucking fantastic. Androgyny from Jeffree Star. Uh, Beauty Killer from Jeffree Star. We're never getting rid of Life's a Drag from Lunar Beauty because I want all the Lunar Beauty palettes again. And I love the, like, split. I think it's really creative. Let's pull some stuff back from back here. The Discontinued Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. I reviewed it, and I never touched it again. <laughs> okay. Um, the ZC palettes, these are so beautiful. But this reminds me a lot of the Alter Ego one that I just kept, the Daydream, except a little more pinky. And then this one is so much fun. But I think it's more for aesthetics than like actual practical colors for me, even though the quality was very nice when I did that for full video, full face of ZC. So I'm going to declutter this one, and I'm going to keep the pink one. Even though this packaging matches my aesthetic more, and it's really beautiful. Uh, Urban Decay Stone, I'm actually going to declutter this. I thought it was so, so pretty when it came out, and I really like the quality of it, um, even though the shimmers are pretty see-through. But I can't lay anything flat on top of it, and I really haven't been reaching for it. I reached for it a ton when I first got it, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one, actually, which I didn't think I was going to. I'm going to declutter the Venice Beach Bailey Sarian in collaboration with the State palette from an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I believe. I'm going to declutter it. I just, the colors are not for me. The Urban Wanderer palette from Ofra. I'm going to declutter it. For some reason, I thought I'd get more use out of this than I did. I used it once, and um, it's fine. I don't think they're... Eye quality is, oh my god, the most amazing thing in the world. No, I don't, but I mean, they have other products that are better, but this works fine. But it's kind of pricey, but you can always get 30% off with over 30 on their website. It's like a code they can use. Glam Light Pizza, the Veggie Lover with the greens. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't need it, but I'm keeping it. I'm going to declutter the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette because I used it to review and I don't want to use it anymore because I feel like you talk about Nikki Tutorials in a good way. You're good. You say you don't like something, you're screwed. So her fan base is dangerous, and this color scheme does not inspire me. And I mean, honestly, looking at this, there's like, oh, okay, that green is fun. Then the rest is like, meh. So I'm just going to declutter it. I do love this artwork style on this side, but I don't know. I mean, uh, eh, I'm just going to declutter it. I have no inspiration to use that whatsoever. Modern Dreamer palette from NYX, I'm going to declutter. Again, I used it once for a video. And these colors don't speak to me. But NYX is affordable, but I feel like these palettes are a little more on the pricier end for them. I feel like it could have been more affordable for what NYX is known for, but it's really cute. There is another, I think it's like Utopia or something, that has a NYX big palette that I've seen in Ulta that I really want, but I don't know if I need. And then lastly, we just have Conspiracy. With Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. We have Blue Blood. This one's still really hard to open. And then lastly, we have, ah, I'm dropping my stack of palettes. 
we have blood sugar which is this one so i'm gonna keep the jeffree star ones of course and um yeah let's go over everything and see how many i decluttered all right so here's the ones that we got rid of it is 26 palettes which is a ton a ton more than i thought i was gonna do i thought i was gonna do like 10 and then here is the ones that we haven't gone through for like the maybe pile so i'm going to declutter i'm going to keep the neon drip because i haven't used it mm. so i'm going to keep these three to use i've not used this one i've only used this one once and i love the yellows i'm going to declutter poppy uh, aurora from alter ego with you i love it though um and then essentials from sigma so all together decluttering 29 palettes today <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye guys